Hello there, how are you doing? Joe here and welcome to another episode of Make It Happen Monday. I do hope that you've had a phenomenal week and I'm looking forward to the week ahead. This episode, I want to talk about confidence. This comes from recent discussions with my 10, soon to be 11 year old daughter, clearly going through that kind of major change phase in life as she heads towards, hurtling towards her teenage years. Where does the time go? Anyway, we're currently discussing the confidence issue. Um, you know, because at this age, particularly with girls, I feel, not that I've got that much experience with boys, but from my friends and stuff, it does really seem to be centered around girls. Um, and they seem to start very early with having self-esteem issues and confidence issues and lack of self-belief and feeling that they're not quite good enough and all of that kind of stuff. So we're having these discussions and it's led me to really think about this whole thing about confidence. Because when people talk, they tend to say, oh, I'm not confident. I'm not a very confident person. And my question to that is, confident in what? Because I don't believe that confidence is this kind of overarching notion of who you are as a person. What are you not confident in? Because confidence is a skill, it's an emotion, it's a feeling that can be honed, that can be developed. For instance, there will be things in your life that you are totally confident in, yeah? Think about things you are confident about. For, let me give an example. I am not a confident cook. I'm a rubbish cook, right? Which is incredibly ironic because as of yesterday, I started making cooking videos um, to do with our e-commerce brand. It's absolutely crazy. Why I've ended up in the kitchen, I'll never know. But that's another story altogether. But I'm not a confident cook, but I am incredibly confident doing a video like this and sending it out to thousands of people, yeah? No skin off my nose. You, however, may not be confident. The thought of getting on video may absolutely scare you silly, but you might be an uber confident cook. You might be a really confident runner. You might be a really confident parent. You might be really confident at maths or website development or Facebook advertising or, you know, whatever. You pick the things that you're confident in. Yeah, so you may not, we, we, we talk about confidence as if it's some kind of, you know, defines who we are. You may not be an extrovert. You may not be somebody who walks into a party as the life and soul wants to tell everybody you're there, you know? You may not be that person. You might be more of an introvert, but that doesn't mean you're not confident. It just means that you're an introvert as opposed to an extrovert. Confidence is a skill that can be developed in the specific area you want to become confident in. So here's what I urge you to do. What do you want to become confident in? There will be some areas of your life or business that you just don't actually want to be confident in. They're just things that do not interest you at all. You don't want to do them, yeah? And then they may be things that maybe you just don't do, or if they're real necessary in your business, you may then go and outsource them or get somebody else to do them. But the first thing you have to ask yourself is, what do you really want to become confident in? And then you need to start developing that skill. Okay, you need to develop that skill. So for instance, if you wanna become confident at making videos, guess what you need to do? You need to start making videos. All the watching courses on how to make videos isn't gonna make you confident. It's gonna give you a bit of knowledge, but that's not gonna give you confidence. Doing it will give you confidence. Yeah, uh, if you want to become an amazing salesperson, if you, if you lack confidence in sales, for instance, and you wanna go out and sell your service doing web design, guess what you need to spend your days doing? You need to spend your days selling because the only way you are going to become confident in doing it is by actually doing it and developing and honing that skill. My daughter loves singing, she wants to be a singer, but she's not confident on stage. So guess what I'm telling her to do right now? Get on stage, get out there, get it done, make it happen, because the only way you are going to become confident is to do it. It's like a muscle. Confidence is like a muscle. It needs to be exercised. So I spoke a couple of episodes ago about learning by doing. Well, gaining confidence is also by doing. There's a pattern here. Action is the key, action is the key. So. Here's what I'd love you to do right now. Come down to the comment section below. Tell me something that you don't feel confident in at the moment. Eradicate I'm not confident from your vocabulary altogether, okay? Get rid of that, it doesn't exist, right? You just, use, just put the word in at the end. I don't feel confident 
in this particular area and therefore that's an area I need to develop a skill. So come down in the comments below, okay, and say, Joe, I don't feel confidence in X and therefore this is what I am going to start developing and honing my skill in with immediate effect. I am going to move beyond my comfort zone, beyond my fears, and I am going to start developing that skill right now so that I can become uber confident in that area of my life or business. You don't have to write all of that, what I just said. <laughs> all right, so come down to the comment section below. Tell me something that you're not feeling confident in right now, a skill that you really want to hone and develop, and then make it happen. Get out there and actually start developing and honing that skill from this moment forward. All right. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope that this episode has been useful to you. I look forward to chatting with you in the comments below. In the meantime, have an absolutely amazing week ahead. Live on purpose and as always, make it happen. Thanks for watching. See you again next week. Take care. Bye-bye.